Hello everyone, it's Anne from Ann Makes. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please remember to click on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes in the bottom of your screen. Also, don't forget to click on the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And today I have some happy mail to share with you. Happy mail from Cricut. Uh, as some of you may know already, I do work uh, as an influencer for Cricut and they do uh, provide me with a lot of supplies, materials, and tools for assignments that I do in terms of writing posts and making videos and sharing things on social media. And they, I, I am paid for those things. So they sent me some uh, products that I would need for some upcoming uh, projects I have to do for them. And I just wanted to share with you some of these things because they may be new to you and some of these are brand new. So uh, here we go. So the first thing I want to share with you that Cricut uh, sent me is the Cricut Bright Pad. Now Cricut Bright Pad has been out for a little while. I just did not have one yet and they did send me one finally. So what is a Cricut Bright Pad? This one happens to be in the color of mint. So a Cricut Bright Pad is essentially a light box. It enables you to trace images. It's a great thing for uh, artists like myself who do a lot of drawing and trace their drawings on to go onto canvas or anything but and I just wanted to show you this is what it is it's super lightweight and yeah so there you go there's a light and you put your design on it and you trace it and the back of it is the mint kind of mint green color looks kind of gray here but it's actually mint green. So it complements my Cricut Explore Air 2. So I could post uh, a review of that and maybe just, you know, go into more detail about what exactly a bright pad is and what it does. But I can show you on the box, you can see here a picture of someone tracing. Um, a drawing and also being used for <laughs> weeding we say that we call that weeding when you're lifting all those little pieces of vinyl off a piece uh, of art that you may have cut with one of your Cricut machines so some other things that they sent me uh, here, there's some replacement blades for the uh, portable trimmer, the paper trimmer that I already have. I do <laughs> cut a lot of material, so <laughs> I go through several blades, so they sent me some new blades. I also got uh, some more vinyl in white. I do use the white vinyl the most, so got that and this you can use this in your Cricut your Cricut machines is your Cricut Explore your Cricut Explore Air and the maker of course so all the Cricut machines can you you can cut the vinyl with uh, this is an applicator and remover set it looks like a big brayer and these are like a big pair of tweezers this is a brayer intended for adhering uh, materials to a cutting mat before putting it into the Cricut Explorer, the Cricut Maker. So the fabric stays put on the mat and doesn't shift around while it is being cut. And it also comes with some tweezers to just make removing those pieces of materials off your mat a little easier. Speaking of materials, I got this beautiful fabric. It is the designer fabric sampler called Sweet Prairie by Riley Blake. It is probably still available on Cricut.com if you're interested. And it is a sampler, so that means there are five pieces in here, each piece measuring 12 by 26 inches. And it is, it is a cotton, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, this is a cotton fabric and uh, I will be using this with my Cricut Maker for some sewing projects. 
I also got the extra large scraper. This is also great for applying material, any type of material, whether it is fabric or vinyl, to the large cutting surfaces. I know I have the brayer, uh, which helps put down a, little, a big piece of fabric or something. And this is also great for vinyl and you, when you just have a lot to cover. Uh, or if once you peel the vinyl off the mat and you apply it to your surface, this is really helpful too for adhering it to your surface. Uh, and I got a fabric grip mat that is 12 by 12. Uh, because I do cut fabric, I do use a lot of mats with my Cricut Maker. And I got some of their felt the, and the Summer Sky Sampler. These are the colors that come with it. It's a really, really nice felt. Uh, it's already sized and, and ready to put into the Cricut Maker for cutting up into all sorts of shapes and designs to make projects. So I got two of those. And this one, the next two items I'm really excited about. Actually, there's more than two items left. The next items I was really excited about getting because I've been needing uh, these for a long time is a new self-healing mat, an extra thick self-healing mat by Cricut. It, and this one is a lovely shade of pink on the other side. So when I'm not using the cutting surface and I just want to show off the decorative side on my table, I can flip it over to this side. So this measures 18 by 24 inches. It is a self-healing mat, very thick, and uh, it's got numbers for measurements. It's got lots of lines to help you line up your materials. So I'm really looking forward to using this. And I can use this to cut uh, my fabrics, of course, before using them in the maker. Or I can use, I could also cut paper on here if I want. And I did get the big rotary cutter. This one is the 60 millimeter by Cricut. So I got this one. And I also got this rotary cutting kit. So essentially, this is also a self-healing mat with a rotary cutter, except this one is a bit smaller. Uh, this rotary cutter is the 45 millimeter. So depending on what type of project and fabric I'm working with, I could use one or other of the rotary cutters. This is a ruler, which is great for lining up fabrics and cutting very straight edges with the rotary cutter. And this is a great self-healing mat that is reversible. So this is a reversible self-healing mat that measures 18 by 24 inches. This is a 12 inch by 24 inch ruler. I can't show the whole thing. And my arms are too short to give it justice. Uh, and it's getting heavy. So yeah, so I can use these wonderful new tools for many of the projects that I have to make. And finally, uh, they did send me some cuddle bug accessories. I got some new some new to me dies. These have been around for a while, but I didn't have them. These are seasonal foliage dies to use with the cuddle bug. And uh, what is great about these dies is that you can cut leather with them. You can cut felt. Of course, you can cut paper and and cardstock, uh, but there's just so many other things that you can cut with this, and this will be great for making beautiful pieces of home decor, uh, even earrings perhaps, a necklace, there's just so many possibilities. And I got a couple of embossing folders that I did not have. This one is a Anna Griffin 5x7 embossing folder 
with the design that is called aviary so i don't know if you can see it better here this is what it looks like very 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 pretty with the birds and the leaves very gorgeous and also i got the old paris five by seven and it it's an interesting embossing folder which i'm gonna have to show you in another video how <laughs> this works because it does have like an opening here so you could put a longer piece of paper um i'll have to show that to you in another video but it's basically a map of paris so that is my happy mail from Cricut this week. I look forward to making more posts and videos using all these products. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for uh, watching and supporting this channel. I would so appreciate a like, a uh, thumbs up. Please uh, share your comments and uh, share this video if you'd like. So take care of yourself and I'll see you after the next video. Bye.